Hello everyone! Today we are talking about phrasal verbs. Before we start with the presentation, I would like you to spend a few minutes studying the following questions. 1. What do you know about phrasal verbs? 2. What is the form of phrasal verbs? 3. When can phrasal verbs be separated? And 4. I would like you to write down any examples of phrasal verbs that you may know. OK, after some warming up time, we are going to see how phrasal verbs can have either a metaphorical or a literal meaning. Let's study the first pair of sentences with the phrasal verb take off. In the first example that reads take off your cardigan, the phrasal verb take off has the literal meaning of remove your cardigan. In the second example, however, with his voice and gestures he can easily take off his hat, the phrasal verb take off here has a metaphorical meaning that implies to mock someone. Likewise, the following pair of sentences illustrates examples of metaphorical and literal meaning in the phrasal verb come round. The first example expresses again a literal meaning of come round as it reads Why don't you come round to our place this weekend? So why don't you visit us this weekend? The second example, however, has a metaphorical meaning as come round here means to change one's mind. So the example reads, she finally came round to understand my concern. Once we understand that phrasal verbs can have a metaphorical and or a literal meaning, Let's look into the form of phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs can be organized in four groups. 1. Verb plus adverb with no object, as in the example, he went out. 2. Verb plus adverb plus object, and this is the only phrasal verb that can be separated, as in the following examples. Number one, I put up the picture, so the picture will be the object of the phrasal verb put up. Number two, I put the picture up, so in this second example, the phrasal verb is being separated. Number three, I put it up. In this example number three, the phrasal verb is being separated again and we don't have a noun, but a pronoun, as the object of the phrasal verb. In this particular example number three, it is impossible and absolutely incorrect to say I put up it. So any time that we have this particular phrasal verb with a pronoun, it needs to be separated. An example number four, I put up the picture that Michael bought in Paris. So this is a long example of an object that depends on the phrasal verb I put up. Number three, third type of phrasal verb is composed by a verb, a preposition and an object. And this phrasal verb is inseparable, as in the example she came across the street. And finally, the last type of phrasal verb is composed by a verb, an adverb, a preposition and an object. And this uh, fourth type usually has a metaphorical meaning, as in the example, come on, get on with your work. We are now finishing this presentation. 
and you should be able to distinguish the following. One, the two types of phrasal verbs according to meaning. Two, the four types of phrasal verbs according to form. And three, when to separate a phrasal verb. Please make sure to complete the activities presented on Prometeo to develop your independent learning skills. And thank you very much for your attention today. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.